prepare to experience tranquility with this uh, Figma review of Figma number 413 Zenyatta from Overwatch. Uh, so today I'm wrapping up my three Overwatch Figmas that I bought with everyone's favourite robot monk Zenyatta himself, the chillest metallic dudes in the game. Uh, pr probably. I've not played her in a while. Are there many more metallic dudes? I don't know. Anyway, today we are taking a look at this beautiful Figma. So those of you will notice that this actually came out a year later than the Genji and Reaper uh, I reviewed because there's no more 10th anniversary stuff. But you know, obviously there is the Overwatch and Blizzard logo and stuff like that. Uh, on top, there's not really much apart from mornings and stuff. We, uh, I, I do have to give a shout out, fair play, so obviously every Figma comes with spare hands. And the way they've arran arranged the hands there does make it look like his ult with the uh, experience tranquility thing. So, big shout out to that, I, I really do like uh, when they go above and beyond with the packaging. And talking about packaging, let's take a quick look at the box. So, we've got... Is anyone out in a kind of neutral pose there? He's kind of floating, he's, you know, praying, he's got his prayer beads around him or whatever. And on this side, we just have a like close-up look at his face and stuff, and of course the uh, ring of prayer beads again. Obviously attached to like a uh, see-through, you know, plastic disc thing, because uh, you can't make things float IRL. Um, and then on top, and on the bottom, as we'll see, is him blasting one of his uh, beads at someone. Obviously, that's his attack in the game. And then, on the back, we have uh, his meditating pose, which is very cool. We've got, uh, obviously, one of his hands is two fingers up, the peace sign. We've got him blasting one of his balls again. We've got uh, Experience Tranquility, his ult, which I think is like a see-through thing you put behind, but very nice. Uh, we, so, there's two accessories as well. These can be attached to other Figmas. There's obviously the Heel Orb and the... I can't remember what the name of this one's called, but it's the one you throw your enemies and it like gives them debuffs and stuff. Obviously, that is the one that heals your teammates. And then we got him doing his like standard pose again. So, I've got to admit, this is the one I've been most looking forward to out of all my uh, Overwatch Figmas. I bought Genji and Reaper because I really like their design, but Zenyatta is... Apart from Lucio, he used to be my main in Overwatch. Um, I just love his design as well, the character's really cool. Anyway, I'll stop gushing about that and I'll get on to gushing uh, later in the review. So, I'm going to open him up now and take him out and all the like uh, accessories and array them there. We'll take a look at those and then you know we'll get on with the review. So, I'll be back in a second. All right, I am back and uh, I've unpacked everything and my god, this figure proper does come with quite a lot of accessories. So uh, we're going to go through uh, the obvious ones really quick. It comes obviously with this Figma bag, very useful for putting all the extra parts in. All Figmas come with that. Uh, and also it comes with two things I've not opened, which is the alternate head or replacement head thing for the... Um, for the stand, obviously very useful. And a replacement joint, I think... Well, I think it's like head and neck. I think they use the same joints. But also very useful, just in case, you know, it's difficult getting things off. Or it snaps, because that happens sometimes. So, let's go through the accessories. So let's begin with the least exciting ones, which is his straight legs. So, as you can see there, they're kind of bent and um, they're hinged at the knees, obviously. They will only extend so far, but if you want him kind of floating uh, with his legs straight or whatever, there are these, uh, obviously you pull out this plastic thing here and you stick in his legs, which you'd have to, I'm uh, sorry, his feet, which you'd have to pull out from there. So, you know, not bad, you just kind of pop it in, I think um, you pop these joints in or whatever. I'll obviously be taking some photos with these straight legs later, but I, I don't think I'll be displaying him with that. Um, just because it doesn't really fit any after, does it? So, uh, next up we'll go for the uh, sort of accessories and stuff. So. This is his uh, ball kind of thing, his, his main attack. Uh, obviously you attach this via something through that hole there. I don't know if it's coming up on camera. But yeah, that's kind of his energy blast from his hand. And of course there are the two things you can attach to other Figmas. Or technically I guess you could attach to Zenyatta himself. I mean you can't, you can't add the healing things to yourself, but you know. 
Um, anyway, so first up, we've got the healing one. Uh, so you'd put it that way, I do believe. Oh, wait, no. Sorry, you'd put it that way, wouldn't you? Um, so this comes with an attachment. Let's see, where did I put them? Uh, so there's this attachment, I do believe. So, oh yeah, it's not coming up on camera very well, but you attach this to someone's uh, display thing, and then you attach the ball to this, I do believe. And you kind of, you, you make it so this is coming from that character's back, and it looks like there's a, you know, a stream of uh, light kind of healing him. And equally, you can put this on an enemy. Uh, so this has got little horns, I've noticed as well, little kind of devil horns, which is very cute. But yet again, you attach it to that same thing, uh, and it kind of hooks from their back, and it drains them. Uh, I can't remember what it does. Does it slow them down? And I want to say you drain a little bit of their health, where I could be wrong. Um, anyway, so there's also this um, attachment, which you put on, basically, instead of going straight into his back, you put on there, like that, and that hooks up uh, directly into this square uh, motif of this, which is his Experience Tranquility uh, Alt. So I'll be, obviously, taking a photo with him with that on as well. It's kind of cool. It's... Um, Yet again, kind of like with Reaper's flow thing. I mean, it's fine, but it does feel a little bit cheap. Uh, but, you know, it's not bad. Sorry about that, my camera ran out of battery uh, exactly as I finished talking. So, well done. Well well timed there, uh, camera. And, of course, we get on to his hands. So, we're going to take a quick look, because he's got loads of hands, as you can see. This is the most amount of hands I've ever seen on a Figma. So, we have the kind of open, uh, you know, open-palmed right hand there. Let me... Be more of a thing and uh, obviously as you'd expect they're really detailed and stuff i do love the shininess of the metal uh, because obviously he is a metal monk uh, the next one is a pointing finger or i suppose you could do it like that but i assume it's meant for pointing that's his right hand there uh, and obviously we have the same for his left hand there is the open palm and pointing hand yeah, sorry, they weren't focused. So, yeah, pretty pretty uh, standard, but useful, I'm sure, as well. And as well, the most interesting one uh, is his Naruto uh, one, I would basically say. Uh, so it's kind of... It's a little bit hard to tell, but it's both his hands intertwined with his index finger pointing up on each. So obviously, he'd hold this in front of him as if he's, like, praying or meditating. And it's got two little... Two little holes there, uh, denoted by these two plastic things that you'd pull out, and he'd put it on the end of both his arms, and uh, he'd pray, which is pretty cool. And so we're on to the other one, uh, the the rest of his hands, basically. So we've got a closed uh, left hand. We've got a mo ah, so kind of like with uh, Reaper as well. We've got a hand that is open enough that he could hold something. I still haven't worked out what it is that he could hold. Is it like a flag or a banner or something, maybe? I don't know. And then we've got the fully open hand. Uh, so these are on his left. Then if we rotate it round, we've got his right open hand, his right holding hand, and his right clenched fist. And his peace sign, uh, obviously, like that. Turned around... Uh, oh. I've lost a hand, I'll pick that up in a second. Turned round, fun fact, in the UK, that's actually a very rude hand gesture. Um, well, I've never really seen anyone use it, earnestly. But there we are. Right, I'm going to go retrieve this hand quickly. All right, I'm back. Man, this is full of jump cuts today. So, uh, it's time to look at Zenyatta himself, which I'm going to do very, very carefully. So, first off, um, this figure does not hold up very well. Uh, and I'm just going to say it, you've, you've really got to be temperamental with this, because if you put him at the wrong angle, he will just drop uh, like that. So, I mean, you know, I'll, I'll experiment and stuff, but at the moment, when I was trying to prepare him and stuff, he must have kind of dropped about three or four times, which isn't, which isn't a very promising thing, especially for longevity, but, you know, we'll see. Anyway, let's go through him first, so I'll unfurl his legs a little bit, so obviously... They, you know, perfectly line up with each other, so you can do the praying thing. So we begin with his feet, as always. So we can see he's got his uh, robo sandals on. Uh, you know, as you can see at the back there, so they are they are sandals, and they're kind of attached to his feet that way. 
And then moving on up, we've got his legs or his like robes and stuff. They're all slightly tattered and stuff, as you'd expect, obviously, of a monk. Even a robo monk, I'm sure, gets wear and tear. So let's pull his other leg out a little bit as well. Oh, really, really doesn't want to do that. Uh, so we've got his kind of cross-sectioned uh, red prayer line cloth kind of thing and round the back so this is something i never really noticed about zenyatta or maybe i just forgot so he's got the white uh kind of fabric as well a little bit torn again um but also he's got like a prayer bell thing i guess is what you'd call it um yeah it, it's really interesting I, I just never noticed that he had this at the back or oh, it looks a bit like a bottle but i don't think it is a bottle or maybe it is maybe it's full of wine or something i know monks do like wine and then uh, we've got his two like belt things there, his golden one and his red one. Uh, and then we've got all the robot inner workings of his uh, torso area and equally his chest there. Now, I would take these off, but I'll get onto that in a second. But we do have his uh, prayer beads as well, or his floating cyber attack balls, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, and of course, they are attached there via this thing that goes into the slot there, nice and easy. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was one of the worst experiences I've had with a figure uh, in quite a while. So this just did not fit in. Um, it, it just, it didn't want to. I must have spent about five minutes trying to force it in. Nothing. So I had to use the old hairdryer trick. So just in case you're new to figures, uh, if you blast a hairdryer for about 30 seconds, it'll make the plastic a little more malleable and soft. And then you can kind of push it in. Um, and yeah, I had to do that. That was not the most pleasant. I mean, it means it's going to be secure, which is good. So I'm happy with that, but uh, it was slightly annoying. And uh, coupled with the fact that the beast doesn't seem to really want to hold him very much either... It's it's definitely not giving me the best first impressions, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, so the good thing, what I love about robot figures especially is, you know, uh, all figures with, you know, articulation have joints and stuff. But with a robot figure, it looks completely natural and normal. So his shoulders go up and down uh, and his hand and uh, he's got bicep swizzle, sw swizzle, swivel, which is nice, obviously, uh, and the rest of it. And he's got his, like, uh, meditating hands there. And honestly, I'm really impressed with this. He looks exactly like I'd want him to, really. Um, he's amazingly detailed. He's probably the best robot figure I have. Oh, I haven't got onto his head yet, have I? Sorry. Um, so his head does have, like, a range of motion. It's quite red at the back, which is cool. It's got, like, optical cables or something is what I'm assuming those are. Uh, and of course, he has the nine dots on his head, along with his eyes and his little goatee, maybe, golden kind of thing. I don't know. I really love Zenyatta. Like, his his design alone is really cool, but he's just, he, ah, he's such a cool concept as well of, you know, like the robot monk sort of blending religion with uh, with technology and stuff. Just very cool. Yeah, honestly, the pose he came in is so cool that I'm tempted to just display him doing this. I know that sounds a bit boring, but, like, he's just, I don't know, he's hes really cool like that. I like his resting, meditating pose. Obviously, I'll, I'll make it look a bit better. But, yeah, that, that is uh, pretty solid out the box, to be honest. I mean, there are definitely some downsides, but, you know, I'm not going to customise this too much, so they shouldn't stand out. But anyway, I'm going to go put him there now. Hey, no, he does stand. Okay, maybe, maybe the stand has been a little bit weird at the start. I don't know. Anyway, uh, as it's standard now, I'm going to go off and take a couple photos of him doing various poses using all of these accessories and stuff. And then we'll be back to take a final recap. Maybe, maybe I'll have a more positive view on it uh, after, you know, messing about with it. Hopefully, or I'll be really, really frustrated. So... Stay tuned. Anyway, here's some photos that may have taken me upwards of an hour to take, so cue the music.
Okay, I'm back. So hopefully you guys like those photos. I, um, I, I I tried to get a good variety of poses and stuff. Obviously, I didn't do pictures with every hand because there's, well, as as I mentioned before, there's just a ridiculous amount of hands. Um, and you know, some of them don't really work. But honestly, having kind of posed him a bit now, I've I've kind of mellowed on some of the issues I thought would be present. So I will say. Um, I'm still not fully, fully confident with this, uh, with this kind of stand, because as you can see, it's kind of, the, the way it is, is a little bit strange, you've really got to kind of mess about with it a little bit, um, just to get him into a, a pose you're happy with, because, well, he floats, unfortunately, there's not really much you can do about it, I imagine. Um, you could maybe have some kind of additional support underneath him, but I don't know how that would look anyway. But as it is, I'm not, I'm not quite as annoyed with it as I thought I would be taking all those photos. Obviously, you know, he, he fell a lot forward or backwards or whatever, or just like downwards. But that was because I was changing out a lot of different parts. Um, I'm not crazy about the legs, so you can change it for the straight leg. I took like one or two photos with that. Um, it's very finicky, you've got to take the knee joints off and stuff. I'm not I'm not really digging that. But to be honest, I'd never, as I mentioned at the start, I'd, ne I'd never display him with straight legs anyway, because he's, he's the robot floating monk. Who, who wants him to like look like he's standing or slightly floating? Um, but yeah, honestly, I'm really impressed, especially with the range of motion for his shoulders and arms. Now, I thought he'd be a little bit rigid, but honestly, some of the poses I was putting him into, he's one of the most, like, most diverse in terms of reins for, like, the top half. Obviously, the bottom half, he is a little bit standard, but, you know, you, you want Zenyatta to be floating and kind of chilled. But honestly, yeah, the top half... Especially the kind of um, pose where he's like shooting one of his um, prayer beads and the other arm is like back and fist, you know, clenched fist. That I thought really looked really cool. Um, his alt, as I took a photo with, it just doesn't look that great. Um, you know, it, and it's no fault of Figma or anything, to be honest. This is probably the best they could do. I mean, they could have made the physical glowing arms or whatever. And this bit, but honestly, I imagine that would like double the price of the Figma because that would be a very involved bit for just, I don't know, something probably not a lot of people would show him doing, really. Um, but yeah, honestly, as I mentioned, the pose he came with out of the box is my favourite. This is how I'm going to display him because this is how I think of Zenyatta. He's just that chill, meditative, you know, robo Buddhist. But honestly, yeah, overall, I am going to say, maybe not, I I don't think he's quite on level with Genji and Reaper, just because I'm not, I'm not fully crazy about how weak the stand feels, but as a figure himself, let's ignore all that for a second, he is perfect. Um, as with Reaper and as with Genji, he looks exactly like you'd want him to. He's down to a T. Um, you know, what I want from a Zenyatta figure. Now, seeing that, you know, I, I, I am slightly disappointed with the base because he's, like, my favourite design from the game. I'm going to give him a point, so he's on level... Is it 8 or 9? I can't remember, out of 10, that I gave the other two Overwatch figmas, but he's definitely on that level as well. Zenyatta is awesome. I, I really love him. If you're a big fan of um, the, like the robot design, or kind of going back to what I said about the other two as well, to be honest, if you wanted like just a robot figure, like a generic robot figure, I think you could do a lot worse than this because he's incredibly detailed. And while he's a little bit finicky to take photos of and you really wouldn't want to play about with him much, I think he's a really interesting display piece as well. That's It's definitely... One of the more out-there designs, you know? I mean, Genji is kind of like a cyborg ninja, cool. Reaper is like an edgy, hooded guy. I mean, you know, interesting but cool. But, but Zenyatta is like... He's unlike anything I've seen in any other franchise, really. So, for that alone, uh, I, I'm just... I, I love this figure. I'm incredibly happy I got it. He was a little bit more expensive than the other two, just because of all of the accessories you get and everything. But I think, I think it's worth it. I think it's justified myself. Like, 
yeah, I'm, I'm, I would say I'm happy. I'm more happy that I have him than annoyed by all the little bits that kind of annoy me or whatever. But, you know, as, as with all the other things as well, let me know if you own this and if you've had any trouble. I am, I am concerned that in the next month or two I'll come home one day and see that he's drooped and that the, like, the display stand just isn't holding him anymore. I don't know what I'm going to do in that situation. I think, actually, I think I do have some kind of tool that can tighten up the joints at the back. So that shouldn't be too much of an issue, but, you know, we'll see how that goes. Um, if there is any major issues, I'll try and leave a comment on this video below to so keep an eye out, uh, just in case there is any main uh, gripe I have that I, you know, I realise a month in or whatever. But as I said, if you own him, let me know how your experience is, or all of the other uh, Figmas as well. As I mentioned, this is the last of the three Overwatch Figmas I have. I'm probably not going to buy any more. The one or two that are kind of cool, but I don't like the character enough to drop like 50, 60 pounds on them, really. But yeah, that about wraps it up, honestly. Um, Zenyatta, as I mentioned, he's a solid 8, maybe a 9 out of 10. Definitely get him if you're a big Zenyatta fan. I mean, he's exactly what you want. He is Zenyatta. He's a posable figure and stuff. And yeah, um, right, that about wraps it up, basically. I've got some more figure reviews coming in the future. They're not Overwatch uh, related, but I do have a few Nendroids, a few non-Nendroids, you know, but like regular figures. I've got a few statues. I've got quite a lot coming up uh, over the next few months, so stick... Uh, so stick with this channel if you want to see that. I will be leaving a playlist for other figures and stuff I've done. And like a, one of those random ones that YouTube decides on the bottom there. And yeah, that wraps it up. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, experience tranquility.